Next is a session with a client by the name of Carolyn, which provides an excellent example of different aspects. She comes initially to the session with test anxiety because she's a nurse and has to rewrite a test for the third time because she's failed the first two times. So you'll see that we tap a little bit on the fear of failing, all the pressure to write again, I'm not even sure if I want to write again. She wants to maybe pursue other interests, this fear of being judged if she does pursue those other interests. Some of the other things include um, she feels really overwhelmed about even the idea of studying again for the third time. She can't even begin to think about that. She's also a little upset or mad at herself for failing. So there's a lot of different aspects to test anxiety, um, just as there is to public speaking, really. It's, so there's a lot of, um, it provides a really good example of how it's important to get most of those aspects or all of those aspects to a zero once you discover all the different layers to it. So I hope you, uh, you get a lot out of that in terms of how to understand aspects from Carolyn's session. today. Thanks. Uh, I understand that you have some test anxiety. Yes, a you, little bit. A little bit. But <laughs> yeah. you'd like to kind of help alleviate using yeah. the EFT. For so, sure. Um, can you tell me a little bit about what's going on, what's happened? Um, yeah, for sure. Um, so when I graduated from the nursing program, you have to write an exam to get registered to get your license to work. Um, so everyone has to do the this one exam and I wrote it twice and failed twice. I have one more chance to write it, um, so just mixed feelings if, if I should write it, the pressure to write it, if I do decide to write it, and if I don't write it, um, just dealing with other people's judgments maybe about pursuing something else either than nursing. Um, so yeah, so it's just kind of a mixed emotion about what to do at this point. So there's there's pressure about writing it? Yes, very there's, much so. There's fear about what will people think if I do something else? Yes. Um, and there's a third one? Is that, is that about it, those two? The, those two, because it's either I write it or I don't, and then I pursue something else. Um, and it's just a matter of making the decision for which one to go to. So you don't really, how do you, you're right now kind of stuck, even though I don't know if I should write this exam or yeah. not. How does that make you feel when you think about it? Um, frustrated, angry, um, nervous for thinking, okay, I might have to do this one more time. What um, happens if you fail the third time? I would pretty much have to take the schooling over again and go through oh. the whole process again. How many years of schooling is that? Four. Or you can take <laughs> some other courses to work your way up to it, but more or less you have three tries. There's no limit for when, like no time limit to write the three exams. So you can go study for six months or six years yeah. and go back and write the third exam yeah, if you want. Yeah, but you only have three tries to do it. So there's a lot of pressure. Yes. There is. <laughs> but you're like, and you're even at that point where you're like, I don't even know if I want to write it. Yes, at this point, very much as, yeah, add to that point too. So, yeah. Okay, let's just start with a general round. Okay. And then we'll, we'll kind of zero in on the okay. pressure that we yeah, feel. Yeah, for sure. And then we'll pressure, uh, um, what, what do I do? What happens if I don't write it? Yeah, okay. for sure. So starting at the sore spot, pressing in a circle. Okay. Um, and we'll say, we'll say, just repeat back to me, even though I have all, even though I have all these feelings, even though I have all these feelings about my nursing exam that I have to write, about my nursing exam that I have to write, I mostly feel really anxious about it. I mostly feel really anxious about it. And a little bit frustrated. And a little frustrated. <laughs> regardless of that. Regardless of that. I can love and accept myself. I can love and accept myself. Fully and completely. Fully and completely. Give myself permission. Giving myself permission. To feel relaxed about the whole exam. To feel relaxed about the whole exam. The inner part of the eyebrow. All these feelings. All these feelings. Mostly frustration. Mostly frustration. Mostly anxiety. Mostly anxiety. About writing this exam. About writing this exam. All these emotions. All these emotions. About writing that exam. About writing that exam. All these emotions. All these emotions. About writing that exam. About writing that exam. All these emotions. All these emotions. About writing that exam. About writing that exam. All these emotions. All these emotions. About writing that exam. About writing that exam. Deep pull back in. And out. So we'll just, we'll just like to start in a general way okay. to kind of feel a little more yeah. calm and a bit more clear. Yeah, for sure. Um, do you feel a lot of pressure to write the exam th the third time? Yeah. 
Who's that pressure coming from? Um, some family, um, some friends. Yeah. And how do they? How do they pressure you? Is it something they say? Is it something they do? Um, mainly what they say, because I often ask, "When are you going to write it again?" You would be crazy not to write it again because you did all the schooling. Um, you can't just give up like this. How pressure much? Like that. <laughs> <laughs> how much pressure on a scale of one to ten? If you had to scale it, like imagine that. Um, I'm your mom and I'm like okay well when are you going to write it again you, know, you can't mm-hmm. do four years of school and spend yeah. thousands of dollars and not write it yeah pressure on a scale of one to ten probably an eight probably an eight yeah. how do you know that you feel pressure is it in your belly is it in your chest is it in your um, kind head? of yeah head for sure um, I just feel overwhelmed my mind just starts going um, and just yeah it just it brings me back to the point of writing it the second time and just being in that exam room the second time around and getting the letter in the mail and just that feeling in your stomach when you open the letter oh, saying you, didn't, you didn't pass and having to, you know, just remembering that feeling of gone, going through that twice, the same feeling twice because I've opened that letter twice now and it's been the same thing. Maybe we should tap on that first. Okay. <laughs> uh, how did it feel to open the letter? Uh, the second time around I was shaking. Mm-hmm. Um, I had a sinking feeling in my stomach. And as soon as I saw that first line saying, sorry, you didn't pass, I literally burst into tears and almost started hyperventilating because I couldn't believe it. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Even though I didn't pass the second time. Even though I didn't pass the second time. I can love and accept myself. I can love and accept myself. Even though I didn't pass the second time. Even though I didn't pass the second time. I can love and accept myself. I can love and accept myself. Even though I didn't pass the second time. Even though I didn't pass the second time. I can love and accept myself. I can love and accept myself. Fully and completely. Fully and completely. Without any exceptions. Without any exceptions. I didn't pass the second time. I didn't pass the second time. When I opened that letter. When I opened that letter. My heart my heart dropped. My heart dropped. Felt that feeling in my stomach. Felt that feeling in my stomach. Started hyperventilating. Started hyperventilating. I didn't pass. I didn't pass. That's not okay. It's not okay. That is not okay that I didn't pass. It's not okay that I didn't pass. I didn't pass. I didn't pass. I didn't pass the second time. I didn't pass the second time. Man, I really wanted to pass the second time. Man, I really wanted to pass the second time. But I didn't. But I didn't. And that's okay. And that's okay. No, it's not. No, it's not. (laughs) Maybe it is. Maybe it is. Close the eyes. Open. Down hard right. Down hard left. Biggest circle you can make with the eyes. Good. Other direction. Try to keep tapping with the key. Little humble happy birthday. <laughs> Count to five. One, One two, two, three, four, five. <laughs> keep tapping the back of your hand. Floor to ceiling eye roll. I didn't pass the second time. 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 Opening that letter. Opening that letter. So awful. So awful. The inner part of the eyebrow. I didn't pass the second time. I didn't pass the second time. That was so awful. That was so awful. Opening that letter. Opening that letter. Just a horrible feeling in my stomach. Horrible feeling in my stomach. Can't believe I didn't pass again. Can't believe I didn't pass again. I can't believe I didn't pass again. I can't believe I didn't pass again. What am I gonna do? What am I gonna do? Oh my god, I don't want to write it again. Oh my god, I don't want to write it again. I don't want to write it again. I don't want to write it again. Deep go back in. Out. And then just go back to the scene, to the memory of okay. getting the letter the second time. Yeah. Opening the letter. Yeah. And then give me a scale. Is it still an eight? No. What is it? Give me four or five. Okay. Even though we still have some of this feeling. Even though I still have some of this feeling. That awful feeling I had when I opened that letter. That awful feeling when I had when I opened that letter. I can love and accept myself anyway. I can love and accept myself anyway. Fully and completely. Fully and completely. Even though I still have some of this feeling. Even though I still have some of that feeling. Because I didn't pass the second time. Because I didn't pass the second time. Oh my god. Oh my god. Do I have to write it again? Do I have to write it again? Regardless of that. Regardless of that. I can love and accept myself. I can love and accept myself. Fully and completely. Fully and completely. This remaining feeling. This remaining feeling. I didn't pass the second time. I didn't pass the second time. This remaining feeling. This remaining feeling. I I had. I had. When I opened that letter. When I opened that letter. Are you serious? Are you serious? I didn't pass the second time. I didn't pass the second time. What am I going to do? What am I going to do? I do not want to write it again. I do not want to write it again. Please don't make me write it again. Please don't make me write it again. I don't want to have to go through that again. I don't want to have to go through that again. This remaining feeling. This remaining feeling. I didn't pass the second time. I didn't pass the second time. This remaining feeling. This remaining feeling. I didn't pass the second time. I didn't pass the second time. Top of the head. Maybe I can let that feeling go. Maybe I can let that feeling go. Deep pull back in. Head out. I'll just say out loud, I didn't pass the second time. I didn't pass the second time. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> what do you think? 
Is there, do you get that same feeling? Because we didn't really label the feeling. Yeah. Give me a number if you could. It's probably less now again. Probably we'll one. Be, we'll be one or yeah. two. Because you opened the letter, sorry, you didn't yeah. pass. Yeah. Right? Mm hmm. Uh -huh. And there was hyperventilation. There was. Yeah, I pretty much called my husband and was, you know, trying uh -huh. to tell him what happened, but like just going crazy because, again, it's. You know, I've done this twice now. Now, what am I going to do? That's literally what I said. What am I going to do? Mm -hmm. And uh, even though I still have some of this feeling left, even though I still have some of this feeling oh left. Oh my god, what am I going to do? Oh my gosh, what am I going to do? I didn't pass the second time. I either. didn't pass the second time either. Regardless of that, regardless of that, I'm going to love and accept myself. I'm going to love and accept myself fully and completely, fully and completely. Give myself permission. Give myself permission to have the confidence to have the confidence to write it again to write it again if I choose to do so. If I choose to do so. Okay. This remaining feeling. This remaining feeling. Oh my god. Oh my god. Do I have to write it again? Do I have to write this again? This remaining feeling. This remaining feeling. Are you serious? Are you serious? I didn't pass the second time. I didn't pass the second time. This remaining feeling. This remaining feeling. When I opened that letter. When I opened that letter. I didn't pass the second time. I didn't pass the second time. This remaining feeling. This remaining feeling. I didn't pass the second time. I didn't pass the second time. This remaining feeling. This remaining feeling. I didn't pass the second time. I didn't pass the second time. But maybe that's okay. But maybe that's okay. Maybe I can accept myself anyway. Maybe I can accept myself anyway. Deep breath in. Yeah. And then just say, I didn't, I didn't pass the second time. I didn't pass the second time. How do you feel about that? Fine. <laughs> <laughs> okay, that's fine. Yeah. <laughs> um, what was it like to fail the first time? What happened then? You got a letter. Do you got a letter. Know? Um. Again, it probably the same feelings, but maybe I think the second time around it was a stronger feeling that I had in the way of just that sinking feeling. Um, but again, it was just like, oh my goodness, I didn't pass, and I couldn't believe it. It was just shocking. But okay, even yeah. though I even though I couldn't believe I didn't, even though I couldn't believe I failed the first time, even though I couldn't believe I failed the first time. Really, I can't believe that. Really, I can't believe mm -hmm. that. <laughs> I can love and accept myself anyway. I can love and accept myself anyway. Fully and completely. Fully and completely. I didn't pass the first time. I didn't pass the first time. Really? Really? That's so hard to believe. That's so hard to believe. I really thought I passed. 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 This disappointed feeling. This disappointed Is it disappointing? Oh, yes. Yeah. <laughs> this disappointing <laughs> feeling. I was so disappointed. I was so disappointed. I didn't pass the first time. I didn't pass the first time. I was so disappointed. I was so disappointed. I didn't pass the first time. I didn't pass the first time. Really, I thought I would have. Really, I thought I would have. This disappointed feeling. This disappointed feeling. Maybe I can let it go. Maybe I can let it go. Good. This disappointed feeling. This disappointed feeling. Close. Open. Down hard right. Down hard left. Biggest circle you can find. Good. Other direction with the eyes. Good. One, two, three, four, five. Mm -hmm. Floor to ceiling, eye roll, keep tapping. This disappointed feeling. This disappointed feeling. Really, I didn't pass? Really, I didn't pass. I thought I would have. I thought I would have. So disappointed. So disappointing. Yeah. So disappointing. So disappointing. Really, I didn't pass? Really, I didn't pass? So disappointing. So disappointing. I really thought I would have passed. I really thought I would have passed. This disappointed feeling. This disappointed feeling. So disappointed. So disappointed. So disappointed I didn't pass. So disappointed I didn't pass. But I can still accept myself anyway. But I can still accept myself anyway. Fully and completely. Fully and completely. Good. Deep full back in. No. Just say, I didn't pass the first time. I didn't pass the first time. And rate disappointment on a scale of 1 to 10. Can you say that? Like 4. Oh. How do you know you feel disappointed? Um, you feel it just kind of in here, or you... Yeah, probably. Probably more just in here, like, I didn't pass. Mm -hmm. Yeah. This remaining disappointed feeling. This remaining disappointed feeling. I didn't pass. I didn't pass. This remaining disappointed feeling. This remaining disappointed feeling. I really wanted to pass. I really wanted to pass. And I really thought I would have. And I really thought I would have. This remaining disappointed feeling. This remaining disappointed feeling. Maybe I can let it go. Maybe I can let it go. One breath at a time. One breath at a time. Maybe I can let it go. Maybe I can let it go. This remaining disappointed feeling. This remaining disappointed feeling. Maybe I can let it go. Maybe I can let it go. This remaining disappointed feeling. This remaining disappointed feeling. Maybe I can let it go. Maybe I can let it go. Could deep go back in? Oh. Where were you when you first opened when you opened the first letter that said you were? Um, I actually just got back from visiting a friend in Toronto and 
Um, I collected the mail from their mailbox and I was literally just standing in the hallway, ripped it open and... Because you were excited. Cause I you was thought. excited. Yeah. You yeah. thought you would have passed. Yeah, for yeah. sure. And, and then um, I right away tried calling my husband, but I couldn't get a hold of him because um, he was away on business. So then I called my mom and she came over right away. And yeah, I just broke down because I just, again, I was just shocked that I didn't pass. Mm. How so. disappointed do you feel when you think about it now? Um, if it's not disappointed, is, is it something else? Is it sadness or is it, sometimes it shifts? Yeah, it's probably more just sadness because I put time into it to study for it and, you know, so yeah, I mean, not so much disappointed now, but just more like, yeah, I didn't pass, you know. Is it sad, if we had to rate the sadness on a scale of 1 to 10, what would it be? Probably a 4. And what if you had to rate the disappointment? Is that a 0 or a 1? That's less now, probably okay. a 1 or 2, yeah. Okay. Even though I have some of the sadness. Even though I have some of the sadness. So I didn't, I didn't pass the exam. I didn't pass the exam. Broke down crying when I had to call my mom. Broke down crying when I had to call my mom. I spent so many hours studying. So many hours studying. So many hours in school. So many hours in school. And I didn't pass. And I didn't pass. Good. Regardless of that. Regardless of that. I can love and accept myself. I can love and accept myself. Fully and completely. Fully and completely. Allow myself to feel the confidence. Allow myself to feel the confidence. That I might need. That I might need. If I choose to write the exam again. If I choose to write the exam again. Okay. And a part of the eyebrow, the sadness. The sadness. The sadness. The sadness. The sadness. The sadness. I didn't pass. I didn't pass. So wanted to. So wanted to. I spent so many hours in school. So many hours in school. So many hours studying. So many hours studying. All the sadness. All the sadness. So many hours studying. So many hours studying. So many hours in school. So many hours in school. All the sadness. All the sadness. I didn't pass. I didn't pass. I worked so hard. I worked so hard. All this. I worked so hard. I worked so hard. I work so hard. I work so hard. Do you go back in? Oh. And then just go back in to say, and just say maybe a lot of was really sad that I didn't pass. Although I was really sad I didn't pass. Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> what do you think? So why do you laugh? Just, yeah, because it's, you, you hear yourself saying it, but it's just like, okay, that's okay. That's okay. That's okay. That's okay. Yeah. So the the, the memory stays the same. Like mm -hmm. the experience of calling your mom and feeling sad that yeah. day is the memory is normally different. Mm -hmm. But what happens is that it sounds kind of strange to say that. Well, yeah. being sad about it doesn't help me. No, it doesn't. Like why would I? Yeah. Yeah. So yeah. it's like, it's okay. Yeah. That I could. Yeah. Yeah. So maybe we can go back to pressure now because okay. we were going to tap on pressure, but yeah. we yeah, started on sure. Um so your mom wants to know when you're going to write it again. Friends want to know you're going to write it again because yeah. you know you uh, did all that. Actually, more my husband's side of the family. Interesting. My parents are quite opposite. They're like, do what you want, but it's I think the pressure from my husband's family, like his parents, I, yeah, his parents, his siblings, and um, some friends. I mean, some friends understand. Some friends, I don't. Don't they just assume I have to write it again? So it's a mix. It's the mix of people that we interact with on a regular basis that. Mm -hmm pressure be to write it again. And how much pressure do you feel on a scale of 1 to 10? Probably like still around an 8. Still an 8, Because yeah. we haven't really talked yeah. about pressure yet. Yeah, for sure. Even though I feel all this pressure. Even though I feel all this pressure. From my husband's family. From my husband's family. Mostly his parents. Mostly his parents. And his siblings. And his siblings. And I feel like I have to write the exam. I feel like I have to write the exam. Just to please them. Just to please them. No one's asking me what I want. No one's asking me what I want. I sure wish they'd ask me what I want. I sure wish they would ask me what I want. <laughs> Regardless of all this pressure. Regardless of all this pressure. I'm going to love and accept myself. I'm going to love and accept myself. Fully and completely. Fully and completely. Allow myself to have the confidence. Allow myself to have the confidence. To write that exam again. To write the exam again. If I so choose to do so. If I so choose to do so. But only if I choose to do so. But only if I choose to do it. Because it's my decision. Because it is my decision. And no one else's. And no one else's. Okay. All this pressure. All this pressure. My husband's family. My husband's family. Want me to write that exam. Want me to write that exam. All this pressure. All this pressure. My husband's family. My husband's family. They want me to write that exam. Want me to write that exam. Why can't they just let me decide? Why can't they let me just decide? It's my life. It's my life. It's my exam. My exam. <laughs> my study time. My study time. All this pressure. All this pressure. All this pressure. All this pressure. Okay, we'll do a full round so we'll incorporate again. Okay. Close. Open. Down hard right. Down hard left. Big circle. Other way. We'll do happy birthday together. 
Mr. Florida Seal and I will keep talking. All this pressure I feel. All this pressure I feel. My husband's family. My husband's family. You want me to write that exam again? You want me to write that exam again? I don't even know if I want to do that. I don't even know if I want to do that. In a part of the eyebrow, all this pressure. All this pressure. I hate it. I hate it. I hate feeling it. I hate feeling it. But maybe I can let it go. Maybe I can let it go. All this pressure. All this pressure. For my husband's family. For my husband's family. Maybe it's got to do with. Maybe it's got to do with. What they want. What they want. Maybe it's what they want. Maybe it's what they want. That doesn't mean that that's what I want. Doesn't mean that's what I want. And I get to choose. And I get to choose. I get to decide. I get to decide. Because it's my life. Because it's my life. And my exam. And my exam. Deep foot back in. So what are some of the examples of what they they say to you or that make you feel the pressure? Um, more or less, like, have you made your decision to write again or when you're going to write again? Um, why wouldn't you write it again and um can you imagine like being a is it like you're over there for family dinner or something yeah. and you're at the table and they're like so carolyn yeah when and are you gonna write it again and even sometimes i feel almost more pressure because they don't actually ask me but they ask john my husband oh. because they don't want to for some reason say it to my face but yet they sit there whispering to him asking him what if i made my decision for when i'm going to write it again so it's like they're going behind your back. Yeah, and, and it's just like, well, then I would rather have you say that to me instead of me just feeling like, you know, in a way they're just judging me for considering not to write it, but yet they are going to kind of put their little input to John to say, well, she should write it again. They're not even saying it to you. No. Lately, no. <laughs> and your husband will, will let should, you know that? Yeah, if, if we start talking about it, he'll, he'll say that, oh, yeah, they're always asking me when you're going to write it, and... You know, it's just, you know, they always come to me to ask and, you know, he almost gets bothered by it too. Can you scale the pressure again when you think of all this pressure? Still, still talking about it? Probably still, still at seven, eight. seven or eight, mm -hmm. yeah. Because it's, it's a bit bigger than that, right? Yeah, yeah. Because we got to separate, well, they're judging me and yeah. they're talking to John. That's mm -hmm. good. I want you to be able to access the pressure as much as you can. So I will yeah. try to bring it, the number up. Okay. So we, when we tap, we get all the aspects. Okay. Up. Even though I still have, even though I still feel all this pressure, even though I still feel all this pressure to write this exam, to write this exam, it's John's family, John's family asks him about it, asks him about they it. They don't even ask me about it they anymore. They don't even ask me about it anymore. But regardless of that, but regardless of that, I can love and accept myself. I can love and accept myself fully and completely, fully and completely. Giving myself permission, giving myself permission to decide if I want to write the exam or not. To decide if I want to write the exam or not. All this pressure, all this pressure. John's family. John's family. Wants to know. Wants to know. Why wouldn't you write it? Why wouldn't you write it? Why wouldn't you write it again? Why wouldn't you write it again? Have you made your decision yet? Have you made your decision yet? Have you made your decision yet, Carolyn? Have you made your decision yet, Carolyn? All this pressure. All this pressure. Have you made your decision yet? Have you made your decision yet? All this pressure. All this pressure. Why wouldn't you write it again? Why wouldn't you write it again? All this pressure. All this pressure. Why wouldn't you write it again? Why wouldn't you write it again? The what is to Florida ceiling eyeball? All this pressure. All this pressure. Why wouldn't you write it again? Why wouldn't you write it again? All this pressure. All this pressure. From John's family. From John's family. Have you made your decision yet? Have you made your decision yet? Good. All this pressure. All this pressure. Have you made your decision yet? Have you made your decision yet? All this pressure. All this pressure. Have you made your decision yet? Have you made your decision yet? All this pressure. All this pressure. From John's family. From John's family. They don't even ask me. They don't even ask me. They just ask him. They just ask him. All this pressure. All this pressure. This remaining 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 pressure. From John's family. From John's family. Maybe I can let it go. Maybe I can let it go. Allow myself to be at peace. 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 Okay. And not succumb to that pressure. Not succumb to that pressure. Deep full breath in. I just want you to think in your head or say out loud. Maybe I'll just say for you. Um, so have you made your decision yet, Carolyn? Are you going to write the exam or not? And see what comes up for you. Imagining I'm the sister-in-law or the mother-in-law. Mm -hmm. the... um, What's the number? Because it's probably a six. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Is it something else underneath that? Like it feels like I, I feel like you want to. You're about to crumble under that yeah. pressure. <laughs> um, it's you know it's not only maybe yeah the pressure just to write it again, but the pressure to say to them, I'm gonna do something else. I'm gonna pursue my own passion instead of just doing the nursing. 
because again I think that's something I don't think that they understand yet that there might be something else I want to turn to instead of just nursing mm -hmm. so it's also saying okay no I'm not going to write it again but then also trying to get them to understand that I want to do something else so what's the fear judgment ah oh. yeah they might judge you if you if you don't write these yeah mm -hmm. Yeah, what's that on a scale of one to ten? Probably pretty high too. <laughs> Probably still around an eight for that. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So, but it's kind of blended, right? Yeah. So I don't know how to yeah how to tease that out because okay. it's it is the pressure, but the pressure that that phrase might be too general. Okay. So we break it down. It's like, well, I'm I'm actually afraid that it's not really pressure. But I'm afraid they're going to judge me yeah. if I don't write it again. Yeah. And do something different mm -hmm. or pursue my passion. Yeah. Even though, even though, I'm a little afraid. I'm a little afraid. To tell them I don't want to write the exam. To tell them I don't want to write the exam. Because they might judge me. Because they might judge me. If I tell them I just want to pursue my passion. If I just want to pursue my passion. But regardless of that. But regardless of that. I'm going to love and accept myself. I'm going to love and accept myself. Fully and completely. Fully and completely. Allow myself the power. Allow myself the power. And the confidence. And the confidence. To decide what I want to do with my life. To decide what I want to do with my life. I don't want them to judge me. I don't want them to judge me. This fear they're going 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 to judge me. If I don't write my exam again, if I don't write my exam again, and just pursue my passion, and just pursue my passion. Oh my god, they're gonna judge me. Oh my gosh, they're gonna judge That's me. That's not the right thing to do, Carolyn. That's not the right thing to do, Carolyn. You should write your exam. You should write your exam. Why aren't you writing your exam? Why aren't you writing your exam? Pursuing your passion. Pursuing your passion. Really, what's that? What really? What's that? Really, what's your passion, Carolyn? What's your passion, Carolyn? <laughs> you should really just—is that kind of something they would say? Yeah. yeah. You should really just just write the exam, Carolyn. You should just write the exam, Carolyn. Yes. Forget this whole passion thing. Forget this whole passion thing. Florida ceiling eye roll. Fear that they'll judge me. 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 If I just pursue my passion. If I just pursue my passion. Fear that they'll judge me. Fear that they'll judge me. This fear. This fear. This fear that they'll judge me. This fear that they'll judge me. If I just pursue my passion. If I just pursue my passion. This fear that they'll judge me. This fear that they'll judge me. If I just pursue my passion. I just pursue my passion. Really, Carolyn, what's your passion? Really, Carolyn, what's your passion? Why don't you just write the exam? Why don't you just write the exam? That's really what you should do. That's really what you should do. You should just write the exam. You should just write the exam. That's what everyone else would do. That's what everyone else would do. Don't worry about this pursuing your passion thing. Don't worry about pursuing this passion thing. Just write the exam. Just write the exam. This fear. This fear. That they'll judge me. That they'll judge me. If I don't write the exam. If I don't write the exam. Think for back okay? yeah. And then check in with or just say out loud, I'm afraid they might judge me. I'm afraid they might judge me. If I don't write the exam. If I don't write the exam. Calmer about it. <laughs> yeah. Um, what's left? What's the number left? Probably still yeah. five though. Yeah. So afraid that they won't like you, or afraid that they just still judge you. Is it still judgment or is it something else? Um still probably still judgment. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because I probably would think I'm crazy for trying to pursue something else. Mm -hmm. Even though I still have some of the fear of judgment. Even though I still have the fear of judgment. They're going to think I'm crazy if I pursue something else. They're going to think I'm crazy if I'm going to pursue something I'm else. I'm kind of worried that they're going to think that of me. I'm kind of worried that they're going to think that of me. So I'm afraid to take that step. I'm afraid to take that step. Regardless. Regardless. I give myself permission. I give myself permission. To love and accept myself. To love and accept myself. To support myself. To support myself. <laughs> in the passion that I want to pursue. In the passion that I want to pursue. Okay. In a part this remaining fear of judgment. This remaining fear of judgment. This remaining fear. This remaining fear. They're going to judge me. They're going to judge me. If I don't write that exam. If I don't write that exam. They're going to think I'm crazy. They're going to think I'm crazy. If I don't write that exam. If I don't write that exam. They're going to think I'm crazy. They're going to think I'm crazy. If I don't write that exam. If I don't write that exam. This remaining fear. 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 They're gonna judge me. They're gonna judge me. If I don't write that exam. I don't write that exam. This remaining fear. This remaining fear. But they're gonna think I'm crazy. But they're gonna think I'm crazy. If I don't write that exam. If I don't write that exam. This remaining fear. This remaining fear. They're gonna think I'm crazy. They're gonna think I'm crazy. If I don't write that exam. I don't write that exam. But maybe I can just pursue my passion instead. But maybe I can just pursue my passion instead. I'll support myself in that process. And support myself in that process. Because my husband would probably support me. Because my husband would probably support me. And maybe that's all that really matters. Maybe that's all that really matters. Okay. Deep pull back in. Yeah. Mm. So, check in again. The goal is to get the number to a zero if we can. Yeah. And just say, they're going to think I'm crazy if I don't write the exam. They're going to think I'm crazy if I don't write the exam. How do you feel about that? Okay.
better about that. Is it a zero? Probably a, around a two. Okay, it's yeah. a little bit loud, but that's okay. Yeah. And is it still they're gonna think you're crazy, or is it something else? It's almost like they might think what they want, but if this is something that I want to do, I'm just gonna do it oh. and enjoy it. Yeah, yeah, because it's not really up to them. No, it's not it's up to me. <laughs> right, right. <laughs> it is. <laughs> even though, even though, I still have a little bit. I still have a little bit. There's fear left. There's fear left. But they're gonna judge me. But they're gonna judge and me. And think I'm crazy. And think I'm crazy. If I choose to do something else. If I choose to do something else. And don't write that exam. And don't write that exam. Regardless. Regardless. I'm gonna love and accept myself. I'm gonna love and accept myself. I'm giving myself permission. I'm giving myself permission to do what I want with my life. To do what I want with my life. And my husband and I can make that just. Dis- Decision. Then my husband and I can make that decision together. Together. And he supports me. And he supports me. And whatever I want to do. And whatever I want to do. Is that right? Yeah. Okay. This remaining fear. This remaining fear. They might judge me. They might judge me. My husband's family. My husband's family. His parents. His parents. And his siblings. And his siblings. They're gonna shake their head at me. They're gonna shake their head at me. Carolyn. Carolyn. What are you doing? What are you doing? This remaining fear. This remaining fear. They're gonna shake their head at me. They're gonna shake their head at me. They're gonna think I'm crazy. And they're gonna think I'm crazy. This remaining fear. This remaining fear. They're gonna shake their head at me. They're gonna shake their head at me. They're gonna think I'm crazy. They're gonna think I'm crazy. But regardless of that. But regardless of that. I can do what I want with my life. I can do what I want with my life. And accept myself. And accept myself. To close. Open. Right. Left. Big circle. Other way. <laughs> One, two, three, four, five. Keep tapping. This remaining fear. This remaining fear. They're gonna shake their head at me. They're gonna shake their head at me. They're gonna judge me. They're gonna judge me. They're gonna think I'm crazy. They're gonna think I'm crazy. But I just wanna pursue my passion. But I just wanna pursue my passion. I just wanna pursue my passion. I just wanna pursue my passion. You can't do that, Carolyn. You can't do that, Carolyn. Yes, you can. Yes, you can. No, you can't. No, you can't. They're gonna judge you. They're gonna judge you. You know what? I'm gonna just pursue my passion anyway. I'm just gonna pursue my passion anyway. Because I have my support. Because I have my support. And I have my husband's support. And I have my husband's support. Okay. And I believe in myself. And I believe in myself. And that's all that really matters. And that's all that really matters. Okay. Deep breath in. And out. So sometimes it takes four or five rounds. Yeah. Okay. But just think a lot. Just think about them shaking their head mm-hmm. or saying, Carolyn, what are you doing? You should just write the exam. Mm-hmm. How do you feel about that? Okay. I don't... It doesn't bother me as much anymore. Yeah. They can... Yeah. Think what they want? Yeah. Or, more or less. Yeah. yeah. They can. Is there anything left? Is it a one or a zero or a... What comes up? Probably like a one. Probably a one. Yeah. What's well, the little bit that's left? It's just being able to like make sure it doesn't bother me. Just to almost laugh it off and be like, okay. If you guys think that's crazy, that's fine, and just, I'm going to do it anyways. Yeah. Just kind of that little bit, almost for myself to be like, okay, I can do this, and I'm going to do this. Oh, even though this part of me, even though this part of me, is not 100% sure yet. It's not 100% sure yet. I can really just pursue my passion. I can really just pursue my passion. a little bit of doubt left. A little bit of doubt left. Is that right? Yeah. Yeah. I'm going to love and accept myself anyway. I'm going to love and accept myself anyway. And let that doubt go. And let that doubt go. This little bit of doubt. 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 Uh, I think I can do my passion. I think I can do my passion. But I kind of wonder. I kind of wonder. It's kind of scary. It is kind of scary. <laughs> it is kind of scary. It is kind of scary. Okay. And then maybe they'd be right. And maybe they'd be right. Oh, if I didn't, if I pursue my passion. If I pursue my passion. And I don't succeed. And I don't succeed. Then they'd be right. They'd be right. Mm, can't let that happen. Can't let that happen. Can't let that happen. Can't let that happen. But I'm gonna go ahead. But I'm gonna go and ahead. And pursue my passion. And pursue my passion. Because it's my life. Because it's my life. And my journey. And my journey. And if it's a mistake. And if it's a mistake. Then I'll learn from it. Then I'll learn from it. Because I'd rather not regret. Because I'd rather not regret. Not pursuing my passion. Not pursuing my passion. Waking up one day. Waking up one day. After being a nurse for 30 years. After being a nurse for 30 years. And always wondering. Always wondering. If I should have pursued my passion. If I should have pursued my passion or not. So I'm just going to go ahead and pursue my passion. I'm just going to go ahead and pursue my passion. With confidence. With confidence. Do you pull back to me? It's funny how the mind works. There's so much I know. that's into it. Because if, mm-hmm. if you do pursue the passion and you don't succeed at mm-hmm. it, and they were tisk tisk the whole time, yeah. if that, can I really take that leap? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Not that you couldn't go back and write the exam. No, that's true. <laughs> That's true. So it doesn't really matter. Yeah. Anyway. Yeah. But sometimes we don't think of it like that. No, not really. I don't think so. Mm. So, um, 
let's say you did want to write the exam. Could you write the exam? What comes up if you think about writing the exam? Um, it's just that I would have to go back and do all that studying again. And for me, it's almost like I don't know what else I can do anymore to be able to pass the exam. Because the second time around, obviously I changed a bit of my studying habits, assuming that there are certain things maybe I didn't do the first time I should have done. Because they don't tell you, right? No, they don't really tell you where you went wrong, which is hard in itself because you're like, okay, now what Tell me I, what questions I got wrong and why. Yeah, and what, what section or what area of nursing did I not do good in? And so is, the, is the exam different every time? Yeah, um, different questions, same format, different questions. But I mean, there's so many different areas of nursing um, that it's hard for you then to tell, okay, you know, was pediatrics a section I didn't do so well in? Should I maybe study more about pediatric? Um, or is it just general medicine that I didn't do so well in, so I need to focus more on that instead of more of the specialty areas in nursing? So for me to have to s sit down and go through all the studying again, it's just overwhelming because I don't even know where to start. Even though I have this overwhelming feeling. Even though I have this overwhelming feeling. Oh my god, I don't know where to start. Oh my gosh, I don't even know where to start. I don't even want to start. I don't even want to start. I can love and accept myself. I can love and accept myself. Fully and completely. Fully and completely. This overwhelmed feeling. This overwhelmed feeling. Oh, I'm so overwhelmed. I'm so overwhelmed. I don't even know where to start. I don't even know where to start. I sure wish they would tell me. I sure wish they would tell me. What I need to study more. What I need to study more. So I can't even bear the thought. I can't even bear the thought. I'm trying to study again. I'm trying to study again. I cannot handle the thought. I cannot handle the thought. I'm trying to start again. I'm trying to start again. I would have to start all over again. I would have to start all over again. Oh my god, I'd have to start all over I would again. have to start all over again. Keep tapping. Oh my god, I'd have to start all over again. I would have to start all over again. This overwhelmed feeling. This overwhelmed feeling. Maybe a bit of dread. Maybe a bit of dread. This overwhelmed feeling. This overwhelmed feeling. Maybe a bit of dread. Maybe a bit of dread. This overwhelmed feeling. This overwhelmed feeling. I want to start over again. I want to Start. I don't want to start. I don't over. want to start over again. I don't want to study again. I don't want to study again. This overwhelmed feeling. This overwhelmed feeling. Just with the idea. Just with the idea of trying to study again. Of trying to study again. I'm starting all over. And starting all over. This overwhelmed feeling. This overwhelmed feeling. Maybe I can let it go. Maybe I can let it go. One breath at a time. One breath at a time. Deep full back. And then just say, just go back to the idea. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Dread was probably a nine. Yeah, yeah. Overwhelming was probably yes, a nine. Yes, definitely. And you think about it. Mm hmm. Dusting the books off, cracking them open. Probably still a six or a seven. It's okay. Yeah. <laughs> Even though I still have some of this overwhelmed feeling. Even though I still have some of this overwhelmed feeling. Can't bear the thought. Can't bear the thought of cracking those books open again. Cracking those books open again. Regardless. Regardless. I can love and accept myself. I can love and accept myself. Fully and completely. Fully and completely. If I do decide to write this exam. If I do decide to write it again. I'm going to take it one page at a time. I'll take it one page at a time. Because there's no time limit. There's no time limit. So there's no rush. There's no rush. And I can love and accept myself. And I can love and accept myself. Fully and completely. Fully and completely. This remaining overwhelmed feeling. This remaining overwhelmed feeling. This remaining overwhelmed feeling. This remaining overwhelmed feeling. Just dreading opening those books. Just dreading opening those books. This remaining overwhelmed feeling. This remaining overwhelmed feeling. This remaining overwhelmed feeling. This remaining overwhelmed feeling. Remaining overwhelmed feeling. This remaining overwhelmed feeling. I don't want to open those books again. I don't want to open those books again. I wouldn't even know where to start. I wouldn't even know where to start. This remaining overwhelmed. This remaining overwhelmed feeling. Maybe I can let it go. Maybe I can let it go. One breath at a time. One breath at a time. I can study for the exam. And I can study for the exam. One page at a time. One page at a time. Because I have all the time in the world. I have all the time in the world. And deep full breath in. And out. So as much as I want you to be able to feel good about pursuing your passion, mm -hmm. I want to leave that, the emotions surrounding the exam, um, sort of neutral as well. Okay. So what we find is more of a neutral feeling. Yeah. Sometimes. So that's what we're working towards. Yes. So I don't know if the books are on a bookshelf or if you can imagine like where you, what room you would normally study yeah. in. Yeah. Just go back to that image and check in with like, oh, mm -hmm. is it overwhelm? Is it dread? And what's the number? Probably I'm still a bit overwhelmed feeling. Mm -hmm. If I see myself starting, you know, to sit in our office studying, it's probably still, still an overwhelmed and just a tiring feeling because it's a tiring process to sit and study that much. What's the number? Of tiring? No. Or overwhelmed? Overwhelmed. Stay with overwhelmed if you can. Yeah. Um, probably around five still. Yeah. This remaining overwhelmed feeling? This remaining overwhelmed feeling. 
I can't bear the thought. I can't bear the thought. Sitting at that desk. Sitting at that desk. This remaining overwhelmed This feeling. remaining overwhelmed feeling. Oh, it's just overwhelming. Just overwhelming. Think about opening those books again. Think about opening those books again. This remaining overwhelmed feeling. This remaining overwhelmed feeling. This remaining overwhelmed feeling. This remaining overwhelmed feeling. I don't want to study again. I don't want to study again. Okay. I don't want to study again. I don't want to study again. Close. Open. Down hard right. Down hard left. Make a circle you can find with the eyes. Good. Other direction. Mm-hmm. Keep tapping. This remaining overwhelmed feeling. This remaining overwhelmed feeling. I so don't want to study again. I so don't want to study again. So overwhelming. So overwhelming. Just that idea. Just that idea. Studying again. Studying again. Remaining overwhelmed feeling. This remaining overwhelmed feeling. Remaining overwhelmed feeling. Remaining overwhelmed feeling. I still don't want to study again. I still don't want to study again. Please don't make me do it. Please don't make me do so it. So tired I'm just thinking about it. So tired I'm just thinking about it. It's remaining overwhelmed. It's yeah. remaining overwhelmed. Yeah. So tiring just thinking about so it. So tiring just thinking about it. So tiring just thinking about so it. So tiring just thinking about it. But I get to choose. But I get to choose. Whether or not I even want to write it. Whether or not even I want to write it. <laughs> go deep, go back in. And go back to the image of sitting at the desk. Mm-hmm. Probably three. A little, yeah. bit less. a little bit less. <laughs> is it more specific now? Um, something else? Or just is it still overwhelmed? It's still probably that. Um, yeah, and just, you know, having to go back to that exam room and sit oh. there for the whole day and write the exam again. And yeah, um, even that's overwhelming, just the thought of having to sit there for a whole day and write the exam. Because it's a long day? It's a long day. How many hours? Um, about six and a half of writing. That's a lot of writing. Yeah. Oh, yes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Even though, even though. I feel overwhelmed. I feel overwhelmed. Even with the idea. Even with the idea. Of sitting in that room. And sitting in that room. For like seven hours. For like seven hours. Writing that exam again. Writing that exam again. I can love and accept myself. I can love and accept myself. Fully and completely. Fully and completely. This remaining overwhelmed feeling. This remaining overwhelmed feeling. I do not want to sit in that room. I do not want to sit in that room. For seven hours writing. For seven hours writing. This remaining overwhelmed feeling. This remaining overwhelmed feeling. I've already done it twice. I've already done it twice. I certainly don't want to do it again. I certainly don't want to do it again. I don't want to do it again. I don't want to do it again. That's seven years of my life. Seven years of my life. I do not want to spend in that room. I do not want to spend in that room. But it doesn't mean. It doesn't mean. I have to keep feeling overwhelmed about it. I have to keep feeling overwhelmed about it. Ah, I can let the overwhelmed feeling go. I can let the overwhelmed feeling go. Uh, one breath at a time. One breath at a time. I can let the overwhelmed feeling go. I can let that overwhelmed feeling go. Okay. Deep full breath. Okay. Yeah. So go back to the office where you're studying. Okay. Is that still a one or a two? Or could you imagine, do you think you could pick the books off off the shelf? You if probably you could. could. Yeah. Yeah. I know I could. Uh-huh. Yeah. Um, what about the going in the exam room? Give, um, me, give me a number on that one. That's probably like a five or a six still. Because that's, I mean, that's the next step after studying. After and studying, you're doing it. Go do it. Yeah. And even though I still have some of this feeling left. Even though I still have some of this feeling left. About that exam room. About that exam room. I can love and accept myself. I can love and accept myself. Fully and completely. Fully and completely. Even though I still have some of this feeling left. Even though I still have some of this feeling left. About that exam room. About that exam room. I can love and accept myself. I can love and accept myself. Fully and completely. Fully and completely. I give myself permission. I give myself permission. To see that room differently. To see that room differently. It's just a room. It's just a room. It's just an experience. It's just an experience. Experience. I can love and accept myself. I can love and accept myself. Fully and completely. Fully and completely. This remaining feeling. This remaining feeling. Well, when I think about that exam room. When I think about that exam room. This remaining feeling. This remaining feeling. When I think about that exam room. When I think about that exam room. It's just an experience. It's just an experience. It's just a room. It's just a room. Just an exam. It's just an exam. And maybe I'll pass. Maybe I'll pass. And maybe I won't. And maybe I won't. And either way. And either way. I can accept myself. I can accept myself. This remaining feeling. This remaining feeling. that exam room. But that exam room. Keep tapping. This remaining feeling. This remaining feeling. I think of that exam room. I'm thinking of that exam room. This remaining overwhelmed feeling. This remaining overwhelmed feeling. I think of that exam room. I think of that exam room. Remaining overwhelmed feeling. Remaining overwhelmed feeling. That exam room. That exam room. Oh, I don't want to write it again. Oh, I don't want to write it again. Seven hours in that room. Seven hours in that room. But maybe I could spend. But maybe I can spend. That time writing the exam. Maybe that time writing the exam. And feel okay about it. And feel okay about it. Because some people in the room, because some people in the room might not feel like I feel. Maybe might not feel like I feel. 
Some people might write the exam. Uh, some people might write the exam. And just feel okay about it. Just feel okay about it. Maybe I can 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 feel okay about it. Hmm. Hmm. <laughs> Beautiful breath in. Yeah. And then visualize the exam room again. Probably three or four. Still? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Is it something else? Well, just, I mean, it's like a bit of resentment because it's just oh. like, why wouldn't you let me pass? What's, you know? Yeah, I mean, you drive, I drive past that place because it's in Hamilton and it's just like, oh, I don't like that place because that's where I failed twice and I, you know. Oh, I don't like that place. Oh, I don't like that place. That's where I failed twice. That's where I failed twice. This resentment. This resentment. Why couldn't you let me pass? Why couldn't you let me pass? This resentment. This resentment. Why couldn't you let me pass? Why couldn't you let me pass? Oh, I don't like that place. Oh, I don't like that place. Or tap on other points. We hit the ribs. All this resentment. All this resentment. Why couldn't you let me pass? Why couldn't you let me pass? Make my life so much easier. Make my life so much easier. You've made it so difficult for me. Made it so difficult for me. I really resent that. I really resent that. I hate that place. I hate that place. I hate that place. I hate that place. I gotta drive by it. I gotta drive by I it. I hate driving by it. I hate driving by it. This resentment. This resentment. Deep for breath in. Okay, maybe I can let that resentment go. Maybe I can let that resentment go. Okay. Really. Mm. It's interesting how it changes. Yes. <laughs> so much to it, it. Yeah. So much to it. Yeah. I don't know if it's a good thing or a bad thing. No, it's okay. It's yeah. just like we've got to tap on all the different aspects. Yeah. So this is a really good example of how yeah. we could just tap on, I don't want to write the exam. Mm -hmm. But we've also got to get rid of, I feel overwhelmed just studying. I feel overwhelmed about the room. Mm -hmm. I actually really resent the fact that they didn't let me pass. Yeah. So I really, just say it loud, I really resent they didn't let me pass. I really resent that they didn't let me pass. And in the end, it's silly because, I mean, they don't have, <laughs> they can't control that. But it just feels like <laughs> that I've been there twice that it's just, oh, it's like, oh, why? I, you know, I should, I should have passed. I should have passed. I've been there twice. I've been there twice. This remaining resentment. This remaining resentment. They should have let me pass. They should have let me pass. I've been there twice. I've been there twice. I've done the course. I've done the course. I've done all the studying. I've done all the studying. There's nothing more I can do. There's nothing more I can do. I really feel there's nothing else I can do. I really feel there's nothing else I can do. I don't want to study again. I don't want to study again. I don't want to take the course again. I don't want to take the course again. It's four years of my life. It's four years of my life. It's remaining resentment. There's remaining resentment. Maybe I resent myself a little bit. Maybe I resent myself a little. Mm -hmm. Maybe I resent myself a little. Maybe I resent myself because I didn't pass. Because I didn't pass. It's this little bit of resentment. This little bit of resentment towards myself. Towards myself for not passing. For not passing. <laughs> this little bit of resentment. This little bit of resentment. I'm kind of mad at myself. I'm kind of mad at myself. I didn't pass. But I didn't pass. This remaining resentment. This remaining resentment. Well, it's towards myself though. Sorry. It's towards myself. Towards though. myself though. Because I didn't pass. Because I didn't pass. That's a little bit of resentment. That's a little bit of resentment. I'm gonna forgive myself. I'm gonna forgive myself for not passing. For not passing. And I can forgive myself. I can forgive myself for not passing. For not passing. Beautiful breath in. Oh. That was like an intuition. You pull that one out of the air and yeah. see what that feels like. Yeah. But sometimes it's um. Mm -hmm. Is a just say I resent myself for not passing. I resent myself for not passing. Is it true? Is it yeah. zero? Is it a no? I mean, there definitely is some there, um, because I know school was never an issue for me. I did well in school and graduated with honors, and I mean, it's I've never been an issue. Never been an issue. So it's you know, yeah, I am mad at myself because I'm like, why couldn't I have done that? Even though I'm still a little mad at myself. Even though I'm still a little mad at myself. Because I didn't pass. I didn't pass. I'm going to love and accept myself. I'm going to love and accept myself. I'm going to forgive myself. I'm going to forgive myself. Fully and completely. Fully and completely. For not passing. For not passing. Mm -hmm. This remaining resentment. This remaining resentment. Kind of mad at myself. Kind of mad at myself. For not passing twice. For not passing twice. School's never been an issue. School's never been an issue. What's going on with you, Carolyn? What's going on with you, Carolyn? Kind of mad at myself. 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 Still kind of mad at myself. Still kind of mad at myself. For not passing. For not passing. Twice. Twice. That's not okay. That's not okay. Say so tapping back in head. That's not okay. That's not okay. This remaining mad at myself feeling. This remaining mad at myself feeling. For not passing twice. For not passing twice. Maybe I can forgive myself. Maybe I can forgive myself. No, nope, Carolyn, it's not okay. No, nope, Carolyn, it's not okay. Maybe I can forgive myself. Maybe I can forgive myself. No, you can't. No, you can't. Yes, you can. Yes, you can. Yes, you can. Yes, you can. I can forgive myself. I can forgive myself. I can forgive myself for I not forgive passing. Myself. I can forgive myself for not passing. I can forgive myself for not I passing. Pass. I can forgive myself for not passing. Fully and completely. Fully and completely. Okay. Deep full breath in. Okay. 
So if you had to go and write the exam, what do you, what do you think about that? Okay. A little better than when you got here? Yes. Yeah, definitely. <laughs> definitely. Okay. Okay. Yeah. So um, you can see there's a lot of layers yes. to it. Yeah. There um, is. Check in with resentment one last time. Okay. we go. Towards myself? Yeah. Not as high. Yeah. Not as high. Probably about a two or three. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So we could still talk. Is it still resentment? Is it mad? Is it... Is it now even? it's probably more disappointed well, in myself. Stuff. Yeah. Okay. We'll do one more round. Okay. <laughs> this disappointed feeling. This disappointed feeling. Disappointed in myself. 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 Should have done better than that. Should have done better than that. I've always done better than that. I've always done better than that. This disappointed feeling. This disappointed feeling. Disappointed in myself. Disappointed in myself. Okay. Back in the head. Disappointed feeling. Disappointed feeling. Disappointed in myself. Disappointed in myself. Disappointed feeling. Disappointed feeling. Disappointed in myself. Disappointed in myself. Disappointed feeling. Disappointed feeling. I could have done better. Could have done better. I should have done better. I should have done better. But I can just forgive myself. But I can just forgive myself. Fully and completely. Fully and completely. I can forgive myself instead. I can forgive myself instead. That's always an option too. That's always an option too. I could choose to forgive myself instead. I can choose to forgive myself instead. I can choose to forgive myself instead. I can choose to forgive myself instead. It's hmm. an idea. It is an idea. Yeah. <laughs> you always have this mm-hmm. feeling yeah. after your yeah. When we do like a reinstall of a positive yeah. at the end, you're always like, oh. hmm. Hmm. yeah. It's true though. Mm-hmm. It's almost like allowing someone else to tell you that it is okay to feel that way. Yeah. 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 Okay. Mm-hmm. Awesome. So keep tapping. Okay. And thanks so much. Thank you, too. That was awesome. (laughs)